So I just got back from grocery shopping and I'm totally pumped because I love to shop for a bargain. And this week, I did good. <laughs> Groceries make me so happy. And when I can get my groceries on a budget, it's just all that much better. And I spent, I'm a rounder, so approximately 120 at Costco and 80, approximately 80 at the produce terminal. So I spent $200. Are you guys ready to dive into all this yummy food? All right, I can't wait to show you. Okay, let's start with the produce. Starting on the left here, I have potatoes, red potatoes. They're organic, and they. this is 48 pounds of organic red potatoes, and it was $12 for all these potatoes. Amazing. Um, coming up next is the broccoli. This is also organic broccoli, and there are 14 of these. 14 of these guys, and it cost... $10 total, $10 of broccoli. I also got these boxes of apples. They're Honeycrisp apples. These are so delicious. They're my favorite apples ever. And there are two rows of apples. Oh, that's the little thing that they use to keep it from bumping. So there's two rows of apples. Each, each box has 55. And I got three boxes because they don't always have apples at the produce terminal, terminal, particularly organic ones. So we stock up, we dehydrate them, we make applesauce, apple butters, eat them raw, put them in salads. Like we can go to town on apples. We can really use them up. And those were $15 a box. So that is quite a bargain. And then we also got grapes. These are organic grapes. And I don't know about where you shop, where you're from, but here in Texas, these grapes, these bags go for like six bucks. Well, <laughs> oh, I'm so spoiled. All these grapes total, there were six bags. It was $10, $10 for six bags. And well, you'll only see five here because we actually ate one on the way home. One, two, three, five. <laughs> yeah, they're really good. <laughs> And then this was an add-on. These are conventional mangoes. I just have a weak spot for mangoes, so don't judge me. Okay, moving on. We've got, I think that's all the produce from the produce terminal. So that's all we got at the produce terminal. Moving on to Costco, we got a banana milk. My kids love this stuff. I love this stuff. It's dairy and nut-free. It tastes pretty good. Um, it's not the best price point wise, but it's, it's reasonable. It's not like a bargain milk, but it's reasonable. I think this is $7 for both of them. That's not horrible. It's not amazing. And then we got some cage-free eggs. And we have, the way I justify getting like the lesser egg is because we have chickens in the back, and so I figure, okay, like, that's our organic, you know, well-fed egg. And these are at least cage-free. Like, that's really important to me. I mean, I don't even know if they make eggs that are, like, cage eggs anymore. Do they? I have no idea. But anyway, so that's why we get this. And there's five dozen, and this pack of eggs cost me, let's see... Does anybody care what things cost? I, I always like what things cost. So this is $8 for five dozen eggs, which is great. I got a huge jumbo of carrots, um, organic carrots from Costco also. And these were $6.49. All right, moving on. <laughs> Every crunchy family has their weakness, right? Their junk food. This is our junk food. We love tortilla chips. But this bag is pretty amazing because it doesn't cost an arm and a leg for organic chips. I think it's four fifty for this big old bag, forty ounce bag. So woohoo! All right, moving right along, we got some Udi's gluten free bread. This is another one of our like 
I consider junk food things. It's not super healthy. And what I tell my kids is it's a sometimes food. Sometimes food because there's some stuff, there's some ingredients in there that maybe we probably rather not have all the time. All right, moving on. I just heard this whole special on pumpkin seeds. So I bought some pumpkin seeds. All right. Oh, I didn't tell the prices on the bread. The bread cost 10 bucks for both. So it's $5 per loaf, which is about right for gluten-free bread. Usually it's five to six bucks. And the pumpkin seeds were on sale today. Pumpkin seeds cost $10 for this whole bag, which, yeah, that's, that's kind of steep, but they're really good for you. <laughs> All right, I also got a, two Greek yogurts. I would usually buy the Kirkland Organic, but this today, it was a buy one, get one. So this cost $4.79, and I got one free, so woohoo! Okay, guys. Talk about guilty pleasures, right? This is the coffee my husband and I get, Ruta Maya. It is amazing. They're based out of Austin, Texas. I love this coffee. So good, and I'm so grateful they have it at Costco because I was buying it for $20 a bag at my regular grocery store, and here at Costco, I'm paying $15. So woohoo! And this is a 2.2 pound bag. All right, moving on, we're almost done, guys. We got this chicken, which is pretty frozen. It's thawing out for me to meal prep. It's just regular old chicken breasts. They were 20 bucks for how many pounds? I don't know, 7.18 pounds. And I'm gonna be doing some meal prepping. You know, chicken breast and broccoli. You know what I'm making for myself. <laughs> Yay, weight loss. <laughs> All right, we've also got bell peppers this bag i love this little bag of bell peppers it is so yummy it's just conventional bell peppers but they're so delicious what's your favorite color bell pepper if you had to choose to eat one forever and not have any of the others i would choose probably orange orange is my favorite yellow is a close second all right, got a bag of power greens, organic power greens. I like these because for whatever reason, they don't wilt as fast as the boxes. So awesome. And not that that matters in this house. We go through stuff so fast. And then last, this is my other, oh, two, two guilty pleasures. Okay. This bag was five bucks and the bell peppers were five bucks or six bucks. They're six bucks, a dollar per pepper. Okay. This hummus, yum, the spicy roasted red pepper. I love, love, love hummus. And that's great with the bell peppers or the carrots and the chips. But I'm not going to eat chips. My husband will eat the chips. <laughs> this is my guilty pleasure, peanut butter. It's 10 bucks, 5 bucks per peanut butter. And I just love peanut butter. I love it with my oats in the morning. It is so good. So that's it. That is the Crunchy Crew grocery haul for the week. And I hope you enjoy. So what do you that. think? This is what it's like to be a boy mom with boys with really fast metabolisms. You've got to get a lot of food. Like we will eat this. The way we shop, we stagger things over time. Like I like to buy a lot of stuff, process it, freeze it. So right now I have on hand a whole bunch of oats, a whole bunch of rice, just a few other things that we've stocked up on recently. And now we'll have to process apples and broccoli and chicken and all that stuff. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click like. Let me know if you want to see grocery hauls because it is something that I'm pretty passionate about feeding our family on a budget. So let me know if that's something you're interested in too. And if you are interested in meal planning from a grocery haul, that is also something I'm willing to do. Anyway, please click that bell notification icon if you haven't already. That way you know when the next video is out. I will talk to you guys later. God bless you. Goodbye.